welcome back in today's video we will see how to call salesforce web service using postman and the code which you see in this screen is copied from the unit apex web services under apex integration services trial and module so you need to copy this code which we are using in this example and if you want to understand more about apex web services then you can go through this unit trailer unit and we'll be able to understand about this now let's go back to our original topic which is how to call salesforce web service using postman so i hope you have copied the code first of all you have to go to setup and search for oauth under this you have to verify one setting both click on oauth and open id connect settings here you have to enable this first option which is allow oauth username password flows you have to enable this option because this is disabled by default so you have to enable this option if you don't enable this you will face some issues with authentication now let's go to app manager and create our connected app so i will go to app manager and click on new connected app and we will write the name of the app salesforce postman here it requires an email address so i will use this email address along now i have to click on this enable auth settings here we have to paste the callback url which will be the url of the postman so let's paste the callback url let me copy it from my screen yeah i have the url So this is the url which you need to paste here and if you want to uh, see the notes of this i have already written a article titled understanding how to call salesforce web service using postman which is published on salesforce ben so you can find the complete details here now let's go to our app manager here i have pasted the callback url now under select both scopes you have to select two scope which is full access click on add the next one is perform request at any time refresh token offline access select these two options and now this option you have to deselect and click on save click on continue after this you have to click on manage consumer details and it will ask you to verify your credential with the verification code so i will paste the verification code here which i have received on my email i think i have received okay here is the verification code which i need to paste here click on verify now it will display two things consumer key and consumer secret you have to copy both of these because they will be needed while making the api call from postman so copy this in a text editor and we will use it later now again go to this screen where we have, we are seeing the manage connected apps click on manage click on edit policies now change this two option ip relaxation should be relax ip restriction and this permitted user should be all user may self authorize so this thing should match and click on save now i think we are done with the app manager part let's go to the postman and uh, i think we need to copy the paste url from here so open the developer console and copy this url please listen carefully open the developer console and copy the url from here not from here because it will not allow you like if you copy this url this will not work so you have to copy the url from the developer console now let's go to postman i hope you have installed it even in your system or you can open the postman online and can try this click on this plus icon and change the request to post paste the url which we have copied and after that write services there should be a slash after which we will write services then we will write o auth 2 slash token 
now under params you have to define the keys just close this console and uh, write here the keys the first key is grand type and the value is password next key is client id and here we'll paste the value let me write first the keys client secret after that we have to paste the username and the password so i think it is now i will copy the client id and client secret so if you remembered we have uh, copied the consumer key and consumer secret so we will copy that here and paste it so i will copy the consumer key from here and paste it in the client id section after that i will copy the consumer secret and paste it into the client secret section after that i will paste my username so let me just copy it from you know here i can copy this yes you if you need to find your username you can go to setup and search for the users and under that you can see your username and after this you have to write your password now let's click on send and i hope it will work send and as you can see we are getting the status code 200 with the message OK, and here you can see the access token is generated. Let's click on this plus icon, and now we will make a post request. We will try to create a case because we have created uh, copied the case manager class, and it contains so it contains the code for uh, making a post request for creating a case. So let's first of all uh, copy again the page URL, which is this. change the get to post and paste it here after this you have to write services and then apex rest and then you have to copy the path which you have defined in your uh, code as you can see developer console this is the path ss so you have to copy this and paste it in your postman so this is the URL which we will hit and under authorization we have to select bearer token and here we have to paste the token which is this one. So copy this access token and paste it under bearer token. Let me just verify if we are doing everything correct. No, I think we don't need to do this. Uh, we have to go to headers and here we have to write content type, which is uh, application JSON. And here we have to pass the token. So authorization we will write. After this, we will write in the value error and then authorization here and then we will paste it here yeah now go to the body and click on row which is sir now let me just copy the body from one of the examples and we will write here as you know we want to create a case so i think team not working and uh, let's click on send and as you can see it is giving 200 okay and the id of the created case is written so let's go to our salesforce org and verify whether a case is created or not let's go to our org and i will go to cases and under this we will see sim not working is created and the id 
can see the last characters are M I A Q. So we can verify it. Or uh, what we can do is we can copy the ID from here. Uh, paste it here and refresh the page. And you, to, you can see the same case will get opened. Now let's try to also make a get request. As you can see, we have tried this post request where we are passing these four parameters. Now we can also try the get request. I think the page is refreshed. You can see the same case is opened. So let's try the get request. This is very simple. You just need to, I think, uh, go to your postman and copy this complete part. Click on this plus icon, paste it, and after cases, you have to pass the ID of the case record. So let's go uh, here, copy the ID of the case record, paste it here, and click on same. Okay, we haven't passed the session headers. So I need to copy this as well. Headers. Content type application JSON authorization. We copy the complete part from here. I think now it will work and we will be able to see the details of the case. As you can see, case number, subject status, origin, priority, and ID are getting paged. Let's uh, see one more example of the case record, then we will. Just recap everything and close the video. We just change this, paste it here, and click on send. And as you can see, TWS stopped working. Let's verify it. It is the same case as you can see. So, first of all, what we have done? First of all, we have created an Apex web service from this example. After that, we have go to App Manager and create the connected app. Uh, with the settings which I have shown on the video and you have to copy the consumer key along with consumer secret and then you have to go to edit policies and verify these two options IP relaxation and permitted user are like the same value which are shown on the screen and also go to both and verify that one option which I have showed you this option should be enabled after doing this everything you have to copy the url from your developer console please remember copy the url from your developer console else you will face issues let me show you so you can see the errors as well if i paste the url from uh, i think here then it will give you an error you open the postman and let's go to this auth example and I will replace this uh, complete URL and click on send. And as you can see, we will get an error. You can see here, enable the request must choose HTTP post. So you are facing some issues, 400 bad request. And if I try to replace this, my, this, you can see. We are getting an error because the URL doesn't matter because this part is Salesforce. So always copy the URL from the developer console. And that's it in this video. Also, if you want to see the notes, I have written a blog here, and you will be able to find more details from here. And I will link the I will paste the link of the blog and the talent module into the description below. That's it in this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, share this video with your friend and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you very much.